Yeah, I'm not sure, sure either. You, you said that Team Seeker has been on top of the draft yeah. for most of this qualifier. In the last game that they have to win, like if they win this, they go to Kiev. E. Hanskin just sitting around the top room for the four minute rune. Now there is no rune, but MP's copying a lot of damage. Now Pardai comes in, Puppy, looking for the lift on Limp. Can't actually get him up. And he'll get back in range of the T1 tower, but the Burning Spears have done the work. Pilai die with the extra balls helped out too, but the stomp, the tether away! The orb is flying in! Arcane bolt hit. Pilai just got another rune as well. So Puppy and Pilai die team up together and they're solo killing the Sky... Well, I say dual killing the Skywrath Mage. The yeah. solo Skywrath. Pilai is really good about the spirits, by the way. He is extremely good about getting a lot of damage on those. This is why we saw like the Nexus diving. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, it's not the, great. It's the run of the, the, again, the TP support's coming in. They want to find a kill now. Pan doesn't have, doesn't have a lot of mana to work with, but Keizu, he's still not level 6 yet. So Puppy, Teleki just throwing EGM around. The Innocent Farm gets the leap away. Pilai die needs 2 seconds before he can tether. Then he can jump up to Keizu and kill the tree line off. Now Limp's coming in as well. Abaddon, he needs help. Unison Farm is so low. The stop is creating space, but not enough. It's still a 1 for 1 trade-off until Pilai die will eventually fall down to Limp. The Flame Guard doing the last bit of burn. So if the fight does blow up on bottom lane, they can just run in. But the Observer is already there. Smoke's going to break in mid one, looking for that high movement speed. They're chasing Loader, but the seal is on Keizu. Where's your TP support? Voice not coming. It's four heroes together, and the duel victor is actually claimed. How many heroes were there? And they just immediately ran in. Kazu level 7. Spirits. They need the Searing Chains off. ET Spirits down. They want to bring in Luna so you can at least get that Lucid Beam off with a concussive shot. But MP alive. Puppy made a little bit of space. But can he make more? MP can't tank through that full Eclipse. They let the Chronosphere go too. Over towards the Rubik. And they have enough damage. Both heroes going down. You still lose your tier 1 tower and you had to bring 5 heroes in to do this. Okay. 1400. Fair enough. That's still some, de uh, some distance to play with. Fantastic Observer Ward from Team Secret watches Alliances maneuvering here. And the leap up, the Chronosphere, it's just on the edge. Caught mid one. Eclipse committed as well. The easy splitter is down. Puppy Cop next for a little bit of the Eclipse and then steals it. He's going to let it go. He does die fairly quickly, however. Thanks to the ET Stomp. Keeps Team Secret sleeping. They lost Loader. Now on bottom lane. Pilai die. Alliance are going to capitalize on as much as they possibly can. Three heroes for the price of Loader. That was a really good Kronos here for Jonathan. Day. He got the... He was hoping ET was just sitting at the tower, uh, but EGM was just a little bit further back. Meanwhile, Alliance are rotating towards mid. They really don't want to come into this fight. They know Kronos still down for another minute. So they try and push in towards the mid tower. Mid one's already starting his rotation. He decided not to build into any kind of maneuverability yeah, item. The blade mill first is... Quite unusual. Yeah, no blink, no shadow blade, and uh, hello mid one. It's gonna begin. Pilai die is here as well. They got the steel on him. Pilai die. He can't even go down. He's still alive, moving down the river. It's the Skywrath, Loader and Hanskin. He'll take the fall, and it's up to them to actually finish him off. Oh no! Unison farms on the run. MP already used his life break. Pilai die will take a fall, and mid one no duel. So a triple kill for MP. They let him tick out. Mid one. Safety. Almost got a duel on them. Uh, top lane. Kezu's in the neighborhood. Mid one. Maybe he does get it. He's looking at the defensive spirit. So the Centaur stops to come in from the Dominated Creep. That one belongs. And there's your duel. You know, some farm. He has to Chronosphere and save the, his teammate's life for the relocate in. MP will do the work for Spirit away. Lip is still burning. He'll die to the Huskar. You know, some farm. The TP out will be successful. Another ET stomp from EGM to create a little bit more space. But they relocate over, and MP knew where Loader was farming. That's why he's just legging it towards Loader. He's got the Hurricane Pike to close the distance. Now life break up. A quick steal on the Huskar into the stomp. He's going to be in a little bit of trouble underneath the town. Pylon and I, can he help him out? MP just stands his ground. Press the attack from mid one. The damage is just too much. Unison Farm will die too. Iron Mate lose his life for the cause. Spirit cuts forward. MP going to get stomped up. Nope, there's a four staff. And EGM is more of a of a backup. He's, he's having the same kind of roles like an offlane Earthshaker support. If someone attacks, I'll just put my spirit out and stomp. They'll have to disengage, right? Hanskin's coming in. We just still got the IO. Pilot Eye is sitting here. He wants them to chrono. 
He wants them to engage an MP who is so close! There was only Bark separating these two. And do they do it? Chrono's up, Steeler's there, Pardai starts to relocate. Can they get the stun? Oh, he's still, he got caught near to the Chronosphere. Pardai dies, relocate, got cancelled. He didn't pull him out, they lose the two. After that. Even Puppy has a Lotus Orb. <laughs> you got so much protection, you got double Glimmer Capes, you got Lotus Orb. Hurricane Pikes, Mech, Solar Crest, Satanics, Halvers to stop you from attacking if Lotus BKB goes down. Like, all these little things are, are just adding up to some massive fall that is the team secret lineup. Going and for the you got the Aegis and Satanic, and uh, well, can they actually get it? You know, some farm, blink away, they need his ultimate, but the Observer Ward that's up here, Team Secrecy, everything, they won't get anything else. Meanwhile, Abaddon, as well as Io, die the front lines. Huskar is isolated, they can bring in the physical damage. Team Secret was split up, but MP, Satanic turns on, Lucid Beam will cancel the attack quickly, but the duel is up, it's over on Loda, the Chronosphere is down, combining with the Mystic Flare, the damage is enough, they get through one Huskar, still kept alive by Paladai, the Searing Chains, the Lotus Orb, everything they've got to protect him, the face this void will fall, and MP is still alive. Radiant Didn't even lose ages. <laughs> that was a great Chronosphere too by Yonatsum, and he's getting all these great Chronos that's catching the enemies on the edge and keeping his teammates out so they can still right click. But it is just not enough to stop this super farm Huskar. The, the draft just seems impossible. Like, how do you how do you stop this? EGM is going to go for the stomp, but a quick Hurricane Pike, MP, he doesn't want to leave. Like, he doesn't even have that many friends with him. But while he's got the Aegis to the Immortal, Alliance have to expend quite a fair amount for it, and that's why they're going. The Eclipse will be expended, Puppy is invis, Limp went out for him, Pilot Eye is ready to tether in and help out the Huskar, who is standing his ground. They still want to fight the back lines. Lip is just having his own personal war with the supports at the moment. But MP is having a war with buildings. He's playing PvE. He doesn't even see heroes on the map. Objective gaming. At its finest. Oh, life break in. Jumps forward over towards Loda. Mystic Flare is doing his work, but Palad Eye tethers forward and now Satanic gets triggered. Loda will burn. He'll buy back quickly and he'll need to. There's a lot of work to be done on this bottom lane. There's no fortification to protect them anymore. And they still need to kill off Haskar. They have a 20 second window before you have that Satanic back up again. But again, you also see that jump on the back lines. You know some farm looking for the supports. Huskar is stranded on the front lines because of a pile I die. Tether's in. He doesn't have enough. They got the kill. And now it's up to Alliance to make secret pay. Take one, take two of the supports. Move over to Keizu. He doesn't have his ultimate available. This should be a kill as well. They are finding something to get back, but it's taken so much to achieve it. They have a gem. Jump they forward, him they see him, Legion Commander, the relocate's coming in, the Chronosphere! It got Rubik as well as Keizu, and the Splitter will be right on the money, catching out the Huskar as well with the Eclipse. Rubik is one last hit away, he'll get a little bit more life back from a bat, but it's not going to be enough. So Puppy with the first one to go down, the mass abilities already triggered, the life break, MP just jumps forward, taking out Hanskin. EGM as well as Unison Farm are over on the run. EGM tries to create space, but it's time to duel. With a relocate over, Limp wants murder. He wants Pylai die, but what he wants, he can't have. MP. Okay, here they come. Team Secret, they want the racks. They'll have to go through fortification this time around. Range racks won't mean enough to Alliance to use it on that. Just a quick stomp, try and create a little bit of space. As again, Limp into the back lines of Team Secret as press the attack from mid one, or he flags the warning bells of the appending duel. Limp out again. Pick up, Puppy's got him. Can he actually get it? No, the stomp is keeping them asleep. And now Loda lets the Eclipse go. He needs to survive. MP doing the physical damage from behind, but they do get a two for one trade off. It's Loda's sacrifice. Will it be enough? Maybe with a Chronosphere, they can turn around the Mystic Flare. It's on the Abaddon for the ulti. Now in comes Pylite. Eye. They get through Abaddon. They're moving on to MP. MP's losing life. Aegis Simon will bring him to life. But unfortunately, when he comes back to the world of the living, he has no friends. They are all dead. There's your stomp. Life break forward they burn through him the physical damage a quick cheese char charge egm he's still alive he might burn no he lives on six hp and team secret lose the whole enchilada i ground defense actually maybe once elsie gets bke but lc lc's not even farming that well 
LC had like a thousand gold last time I checked, and that was three, four minutes ago. Now he's only at eighteen hundred gold after that botched. Well, what mid one's on top? Mid one's duty is to find the Ember. It's a Lincoln's trigger in, into a kill. Oh, they're actually playing oh. on the offensive. The Jonas fan is set up on the side as they try and smoke in. Are they gonna do this? Are they gonna catch Team Secret out of position? Thanks to the Observe Ward, which was just got dewatered by Puppy. They won't have this vision. The TP4 with the BTs, Unison Farm, the target. You think it might just be an Ember defending the lane. He jumps forward, misses the Searing Chains over on MP, but still wants to keep moving forward. The stop it's not enough. The Hurricane Pike, now they'll get it. Puppy jumps in, triggers the Lincoln Spear so they can jump forward. Defensive Spirit out. Hanskin is keeping the Legion Commander at bay, and Loader is turning around. I think they've realized his fight splints in too many different parts. Now with a Mystic Flare, Hanskin's killing himself on the back of the Blade Mel. Not to mention Loader just can't tank that type of damage. The ET Splitter needs to create space, pulling it back in again. Legion is finally down, but MP having all the time in the world to start stacking up these burning spears. This is not the fight Alliance were looking for. They need to retreat. They don't have Loader. Limp is doing his work. Any kills he can claim will create more breathing room and maybe stop Secret from pushing into the base. Can they stall? That is the question. Well, MP's coming forward and Limp will do as much damage as he can to keep the creep wave out and the backdoor regeneration in place. They get with the, the dual scepter, the duel is out, but the chronosphere, it catches a bad as well as Legion Commander, Ember Spirit, now the Mystic Flare, they got enough damage, Ember, back into the slide of Fist, but Unison Farm, he's on the wrong side of the tracks, but maybe he's okay with this, he's still got time walk, and he's delaying time. 33 seconds until Luna is up, you did lose the Ember, but buyback is available. Ember tried a shrine, but actually was just a tad bit away from the shrine. He does have his spy back available. Are they going to try and save this melee, Rax? Time dilation, time walk up, get away. They're letting it go by the looks of it. Wow, so he's actually saving his buyback too, just waiting for Luna to hold, but he might have to buy back at the end of the day. Anyways, as MP storms and taste megas. They ha he has no choice. Like He has to buy back yeah, now. Yeah, he but it, it's, it's just the Luna. Like, until Luna is up, you're not going to feel confident coming out as a team. And until Team Secret really showed their intention to take this top Rax, which now MP is doing, there was also no other point. So they start their attack, and MP will jump away. Limp able to get the Searing Chains off. You know some farm. He's got that Chronosphere waiting and ready to go. But Poppy, thanks to that Lotus Orb onto the Huskar, makes it difficult to keep the Disable up. And Hanskin knows it. So they jump forward, they find a different target, it's Pylai Dai, a quick Manta, the duel begins, but it's not on a real one, or is it? The duel is out, and maybe Unison Farm can tank this up, he jumps forward and gets the Chronosphere on the back lines, both supports are caught, Legion Commander is down, but MP is not controlled, Unison Farm, he still wants Pylai Dai, and he'll claim him, move his attention over towards Puppy, the captain of Team Secret, he's retreating out, but this... Well, they just have a Vendetta. No support from Team Secret is allowed to survive. But I'm watching the Huskar inside the base, chasing down Hanskin. A Shrine will keep him alive. But where are the friends? Limp will come in. It's the damage from MP looking to kill off Limp. He slowed down so much Limp. He spirits away, but he won't have the life to survive. 35, he'll tick out. Two minutes without him with no Luna. They have no real cause to do the damage. MP may just be enough to carry it through. One more fight, potentially could have done it. Hanskin's throwing everything he's got, but it's an ultra kill for the Huskar, and it may be more. They're going in deep into the Tier 4 towers, keeping Alliance back at their fountain. Yusufam is just ticking down with so many burning spears on him. The Stomps are just delaying the inevitable. Alliance will fight to the bitter end. One Chrono is left. They'll catch out two. EGM caught on the edge of that one too. So is Keizu. But he's close enough that maybe, yeah, they get through the Rubik. The buyback is there. Puppy will come back to the world of the living. And Team Secret, they're taking everything from Alliance. I have never seen a Huskar buffed up by so many different things in one game. It's like a constant string of Lotus Orbs, Aphotic Shield, just everything dumped on top of him. GG. And he is unstoppable. This game is over. Good game well played. Team Secret. Team to represent Europe at the Kiev Major. Alliance fought hard and valiantly.